up guys, Ken Navisky here with another episode of the KN Strongman blog. Out here in Davenport, Iowa. Got in late last night for Nationals. Got to the hotel about um, about midnight and proceeded to weigh in, check my weight then and I was sitting at 235. So, you know, just under four pounds heavy. So, a couple of uh, hot baths and we got down to, what did I go to bed at? 231.6. Literally, like, you know, 20 minutes in the bath, came out for 20 minutes, and then another, uh, I believe it was another 10, and then the weight just came straight out, which is perfect. Sleep, slept, okay, I mean, sort of restless. Uh, the, um, you know, I think having that, that hot bath right before bed sort of elevated my heart rate a little bit and just kept me up, but in general, I feel pretty good. The, uh, it's 7.30 right here now, so I'll go down to weigh in at, I start at 10, I'll go down at probably about 8.30. I sort of learned, learned my lesson last year in the Arnold, even though I wasn't really making weight, I wasn't cutting to make weight, you know, I got caught in the rush of you know, waiting around with everybody else, um, like not really realizing how busy it was going to be, so I'm going to head down early, try and make sure I get in without too much hassle. and. Uh, then start eating, start drinking, really you know, get the fluids in, get the food in today and really try and, I mean, for, for, for Colorado State in June, I gained 19 pounds in a day, so hoping to get up again to that 250 mark and then you know, we'll see what we're at in the morning before we compete and then I'm pretty confident that, you know, with the eating through the contest tomorrow, the eating tomorrow night, that I'm actually going to be weighing heavier Saturday than I will be tomorrow, which is sort of perfect because, you know, less events, not as many um, moving, so that little bit extra gain shouldn't be too much of, a, of an issue. Plan today, apart from that, is just to really just chill out, you know, I'll sit and stretch and you know, just get mentally prepared. I, f I feel really good for this contest. I, I feel, you know, since, this is probably the best I've felt for a contest since, Probably either the Arnold or the two Scotland Strongest Man contests in 2012. Um, 2013 Arnold coming back from the biceps that was a bit, you know, the, the prep for that wasn't the best. And then uh, last year's stuff was I was really sort of trying to integrate into the new lifestyle of living other side of the planet than, than I was used to. So I feel I feel good. I feel you know. I feel more happy than anything that I've actually accomplished the the goal of getting getting here and you know, we'll make weight and, and carve up and then then we'll see what happens from there and then on to the next goal after that. So I mean the Wi-Fi I've got Wi-Fi right now. I don't know how it's going to hold up for for uploading this. If it doesn't work, what we're going to do is I'm just going to I'll edit edit this all together. I'll I'll do the whole nationals thing instead. You know pre pre-contest and a post-contest, I'll just do the whole thing, we'll put some contest footage in there, um, you know, I'll, I'll do a, a blog after day one, and blog after day two before the banquet, um, you know, obviously we don't find out the results of who's won until the banquet on Saturday night, and after that, it's uh, on to the next one, so for the time being, have a good one, I'll catch you soon, bye bye. What's up guys, back here in Denver now, so... Figured it was time to to do the you know, the post nationals sort of report and see how it went and how I feel about it and, and all that sort of jazz. I mean, honestly, I'm not I'm not too pissed off about the result. Um, I'm more frustrated because I feel that. The things that went wrong couldn't have really been planned for. I mean, my log. Let's just start start out a little bit. I'm gonna put some video over the top of this for each event as I as I talk, and that way, like you can you can see the events as we get, as we go through this. So log. I mean, I, I felt great going into the day. I, I can't say that. You know. Um, that the water cut or anything like that had, a, had an adverse effect. I didn't feel 
bad going into the contest. I felt pretty good. Um, hydrated well, you know, refed really good. I felt really, really, really on point going into the show. So with log, um, you know, we never went to contest weight on the log. We were really working on the conditioning type uh, aspect of it. We knew I could press a 275 pound of log without an issue. So it was really getting to the point where we were trying to really figure out the best pace and um, and and the sort of well, what we definitely figured out was about two weeks out we figured that when I was getting amped up for log I was actually being very extrovert with it so instead of just really internalizing the focus I was getting too amped up and then you know, breathing deeply and, and just wasting a lot of energy so you know, as you see in the video I, I, I paced it while I feel I, I heard I heard Aaron on the mic say five seconds left coming up to this last rep and uh, maybe I rushed it and maybe that's why I lost it if I waited an extra second got some more air it would, I, would have, I would have held on to it I don't know but overall I felt it went really really well Zercher in training that was going great again. We never went to contest weight, just really focused on that foot speed. I think this is actually where the um, the eventual calf tear came from. Um, Labor Day weekend, noticed. No, I was putting a picture on Instagram. Noticed um, that there was like a sort of darkening on my calf. I, I just figured it was the lighting, and then I had someone point out uh, later that day that it was actually bruised. So I don't know if maybe I had um, had strained it during that. I, I never felt anything during during the Zercher training. Just um, some some tightness when I would run Zercher and Farmers. Nothing on sandbags. And then uh, you know, the, the Zercher times went really well. We went to heaviest we went in training was five fifty. You know the six hundred here felt really good. I, I don't I don't feel that I could have gone much faster maybe a half second off if I really pushed it but I I don't I don't know I think this was like the perfect run farmers farmers was the, the sort of downfall and was really left a sort of sour taste in my mouth not from anything other than how I performed so there's the same set as we used at the Arnold Arnold didn't really go to plan though there was extenuating circumstances there with them um, my mental approach to the Arnold and, and where I was, you know, just uh, just mentally for that contest, and you know the farmers didn't go didn't go to plan there, so maybe it was a a mental block almost. I, I don't feel we could have prepped farmers any better than we did. You know, I was running again. You know, I never had any grip issues. My best farmers have you know, I've done four hundred numbers of times. I've walked with four forty a hand before. I, I've never had grip issues until the Arnold with those, with those, that, that set there. And maybe I had some issues at um, our Europe Strongest Man a couple of years ago, but you know that was again different different circumstances there. I don't feel with you know the training we put into farmers, I could have prepped better. For some reason, it just. Uh, it just slipped. There's nothing, nothing really much to it. So, at end of the day one, I was sitting in eleventh place. Um, I really dropped a ton of points on farmers. I mean, my points were um, fifty nine in log for joint third, all out win on the zercher for sixty seven points, and then I dropped like twenty four. So, well, that'd be like thirtieth place or something in farmers. So that sort of that really got to me. I was I left the the venue on Friday really really pissed off at myself and really frustrated. And I was sort of wondering if the diet was the the right way to go with this. And I was like, well, you know, maybe it was a bad idea to come down here and I down down to this body weight and then all that sort of stuff. And you know what? I just said to myself, well, you no, know, the the experiment we ran went to plan. The uh, you know the experiment of, of getting leaner which was the, the the number one goal and then the secondary goal of rekindling that fire for the sport 
it all went to plan. I couldn't, I can't, I can't fault what we did. I can't fault our training. I can't fault the diet, the the rehydration, like the dehydration, the rehydration, nothing like that. I can't fault any of it. It just came down to that's how the how the, the chips fell on on farmers. So you know, I got back to the room in you know, eight and just sort of refocused myself and uh, and really just sort of said, you no, know, let's uh, let's go out and you know, kick ass on day two. Do what you can on law on um, dumbbell deadlift and leave it all out there on bags and just see where the chips fall. Okay, we might not be going to America's strongest man with winning the pro card, but let's just see what we can do and then we'll go from there. So day two, again, woke up feeling great. I can't, um, I can't emphasize that enough. I, I didn't, I had some minor like tightness and rhomboids, but once I got to the venue and rolled out a little bit, warmed up and stretched off, I felt great. Warm ups on dumbbell felt effortless absolute best it's ever felt so I knew I had to leave leave a good bit of, uh, of of sweat in the field with this one I knew I had to really go out there and put up a big number and I think the, the thing the, the lead going when I went was six reps so I I hit you know seven um, between the both so it was 14 reps total they counted each uh, each part as half a rep so I was really happy with that in, in training. We went to contest weight once for like a 30 second set and I screwed up the first clean during that set on the dumbbell and then upped my pace and I managed to get the six reps total in, uh, in 30 seconds. So I was aiming for that 12 to 14 I thought was possible. I had, with the last one, I heard again, you know, I heard Aaron say I am three seconds this time and I was gonna go for it and then you know that sort of there's no way I'm gonna get a dumbbell in three seconds so just left it and, and sort of hoped for the best. I know there was a couple of guys that tied me for for second place and then Brian Barrett came out and just absolutely murdered it. You know, eight reps total and uh, just so efficient, so so efficient. You know, that sort of um dimitar type dumbbell where you don't really leave it on your shoulder, you know, you, you, you clean and you go, it was, it was absolutely effortless, it was perfect for him. So at that point, you know, the second place there, slingshot me back up to fourth, going into bags, I felt good, my, you know, I wasn't worried about my calf, you know, the, the, the thing that's led, which I was sort of worried about going into bags was left forearm felt sort of tight around the elbow, um, but nothing felt bad, my hips felt pretty good, my calves felt fine, Hamstrings slightly tight, but nothing major. Literally just you know, picked up that first bag, started accelerating, and then boom, just I felt that thing go. And there's really not much to say about it. It went uh, again. I don't think it's. I don't think it was avoidable. I don't think that there was anything I could really have done to avoid it. Uh, maybe some more prehab work. But really now, you know, with it being, you know, post contest, it's really all ifs and buts and what, you know, maybes and all that sort of stuff. So, whatever it happened, it's um, it's part of the sport. I've been here before. I'm not going to sit and whine and, and bitch and moan about it. It's uh, it is what it is. It's no big deal. So heading down to go get therapy in a second. Right now, I'm gonna gonna you know, get to work on this, get this fixed, and really the goal from now. Um, as I said, the experiment for coming down to lightweight went completely to plan. I don't feel that there was a single day of prep wasted. I don't feel that um, any of this was a wasted process or or anything like that. I've really got the drive back for the sport, and I feel that the condition I'm in now was this the condition in terms of you know, how I'm moving and, and my... my uh, aerobic conditioning is, is exactly where it should be and back to the point of um, probably around 2012 when I was you know, really probably the, the peak of the, the sport so far before I did my uh, my biceps so you know, the goal now is you know we ran that experiment the goal is now to we'll go back up the heavyweight you know I'm really focusing on good muscular gains no we're going to try and limit the the, the, the fat gains. So we want to try and keep this condition as much as possible. 
in terms of contests and what's next for that, um, you know, obviously I didn't qualify for the Arnold, which sort of a, 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 that's a sort of a low blow, and I've qualified for almost every every single Arnold since the start, so that sort of sucks. But you know, again, it is what it is, and uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, going to probably prep for. I think we're going to aim for like. Nick and Callie's Giants Live Qualifier, the Mid America's Giants Live Qualifier. Um, we'll see what plot pluses come up um, in terms of winning a card, like a heavyweight card there. I feel like I'm prepping for all these other, like, other really heavy contests. If something like that comes up, I should be in quite good shape to, to go to that and make an impact. Um, in terms of other stuff, I sort of looked into the USS stuff a little bit, I'm not really sure on the calendar for that and, and, and you know, what's what's available there, that's something I'll have to look into. I saw the events for Fit Expo last night, I'm not going to do the Fit Expo but we're using those events as guidelines for, uh, for sort of the, the position that I want to be able to put myself into for the start of, probably about the start of summer, yeah, maybe May time, hopefully, and we'll just go from there, we'll just see what comes up and uh, roll with the punches, and really, I'm very, very excited to really see what we can develop with this, you know, the, the whole process of dieting down has been great, because it's been a, it's been a process where Andrew, Andrew Triano, who does all my diet and training, We've really figured out how my body reacts to a lot of different stimulus, and you know, it's going to be—I think it's going to be very, very interesting when we start upping these calories and changing the training to um, hitting bigger weights. Now that it's going to be very interesting to see how things progress. You know, that's uh, that's the plan now. I just want to take a, a second just to thank everyone that supported me. Obviously, you know, CrossFit Surge in uh, North Glen. Teamwork therapy have you know, really been instrumental in this. You know, I, I couldn't without surge. I'd not get anywhere to train without teamwork therapy. I've not got any um, any rehab facility. You know, obviously, I'm very thankful to them, Courtney and Brandon Merkel and uh, Justin Willis of Teamwork. You know, I want to thank all the people who sponsored me. You know, Grace Grimes and. Teresa Hartle from Metrics for them, the continued support that they give me the uh, you know, to have a company such as Metrics who are actually behind you all the time is really really uh, special to me. Again, you know, the same same goes for Play Again. Now, Debbie from Play Again has been instrumental in this. You know, she really she really helped me out a lot, and I feel that during the whole cutting process, having something like that has been really good to actually keep me keep me healthy in terms of you know, when, when the calories have been low and you're trying to recover hard and I think that's been a great product and, and to, to, I'm going to keep using that and, and definitely swear by that. Other sponsors, you know, I have no server strength and um, you know, they've been great for just the lifting stuff, just just keeping me going in terms of you know, with sandbags and all the wraps and all that sort of stuff just to just to have that available is huge, and then obviously I have to thank family, friends, and you know, girlfriend, and everyone who makes it uh, possible to do this. And I don't think that you know everyone sort of says that this is a, an individual sport, and it's really not. You need to have uh, a, a support structure behind you. If and I don't, if, if if you don't, I mean, you can get so far by yourself, but. Without that support structure, you're not gonna, really going to get anywhere. You know, obviously, I have to thank Andrew Triana for for all his stuff. You know that guy's brain has been going non-stop for the last six or seven months, making sure that we've done everything we possibly can to to get me ready for this. And you know, it's going to be going probably even harder right now when we start prepping for the next stuff. So uh, from now, it's going to be uh, it's going to be very interesting. I'm going to start trying to get some more blogs out there. Really want to try and try and uh, put more out. I've started working with a couple of companies. You know, uh, Exergeny. They've they, they sort of took me on board a little bit. I've, I 
have one of their progs that I'm going to be testing out a lot more. Now we're in the off season. The same with the with the Havoc gear. They've they sent me some different bits and pieces to test, and that'll be getting utilized a lot more. There'll be some more videos of that, and really just uh, you know, stay tuned. And I uh, I have some some pretty good footage coming, some big announcements, and we'll see where life takes us. Anyway, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Speak to you all soon.